Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. You guys have been asking for a video about Silver, and I aim to please. While he's somewhat controversial to some, since he was introduced in everyone's least favorite game, Sonic 06, personally, I think he's awesome. So let's hop right in. If you enjoy this, check out yesterday's video on the fastest Sonic villains. Now get ready, it's time for the Top 10 Shocking Facts about Silver the Hedgehog. Number 10. He has psychokinesis. This is definitely pretty well known, but not everyone watching this video will be familiar with Silver, so I think it's important to get it out of the way. Silver is one of the most magic focused Sonic characters, able to manipulate the environment around him with his mind, move things, throw things, and even compress many objects together to make a massive projectile using his meteor smash ability. Totally not the same as Spirit Bomb, not at all. He can use his psychokinesis as a limited form of telepathy, use it to fly, and can even teleport short distances by warping space. Most important he can use chaos control to open time portals to travel through time which he does a lot. Not too shabby. Number 9. His powers were based on the game. Sonic 06 was using a new physics engine, and developers used it to create stages with multiple ways to complete them. In an attempt to add more variety to the player, rather than just running quickly through every level, they introduced Silver with his psychokinetic powers. This let him move things around and get around the level a different way. A lot of people saw this as Sonic heresy, but personally I thought it was an interesting addition. Too bad there were so many other things wrong with the game. Number 8. He's a fly type. Some people who aren't super well Red and Sonic may assume that everyone's just fast and stuff, but that's not true. There are actually three main ability types. Speed type, like Sonic and Shadow, Power type, like Knuckles and Big, and Fly type, like Tails and, well, Silver. Fly type characters are represented by the color yellow in-game. This is less a shocking fact and more of a way to explain a certain mechanic to non-Sonic fans. In the words of Professor Quirrell, just thought you ought to know. Number 7. Conflicting backstories for the game. It seems the writers couldn't quite get the story straight for Sonic 06. On the website it said he came from the future to the present, but learned that the future could be destroyed so he fights to save it. In the game guide it was implied that he started in the present, finds himself in the future, learns that the future might be destroyed, and tries to change it. But then in the game he comes from a destroyed future and goes back to the past to change it. Yikes. I can't believe they'd make a mistake in that gem of a game. Number 6. He's voiced by Daisuke Ono in the Japanese versions. Much of the flack Silver gets is for his voice acting in the Sonic 06 game. Not gonna lie, it was pretty subpar. This world was devastated before I was born. A harsh, bleak place. The voice itself was pretty good, but the lines sounded kind of forced at times. In the Japanese version, Silver was voiced by Daisuke Ono, best known as the voice of Sebastian Michaelis in Black Butler. And he just kills it. I really dig his interpretation, and even though I don't understand Japanese, it still feels more natural to me than the English version with Pete Capella. To Capella's credit though, he does get better in future games. Number 5. He stepped on a whole bunch of toes in the comics. Silver wasn't so popular with Sonic and Pals when he was first introduced in the Archie comics. In this story, he learned that his future was destroyed by a traitor inside the Freedom Fighters, so he went back to figure it out. But after accusing three different people and being wrong, they started to get tired of the guy who just came to point fingers and pick fights. Thankfully, he eventually learned that, spoilers, you ready? Sally was the traitor, but hadn't done it intentionally, so all was well. Number 4. He was raised by Mammoth Mogul. Silver's story in the Archie comics is pretty interesting, and probably the craziest thing is that he was raised by a future version of Mammoth Mogul, one of the big baddies in the comics. Thankfully, Double M had already more or less hung up his villain cap, but his teachings weren't exactly as squeaky clean as others would have liked. Speaking of, number 3. He was mentored by a relative of Knuckles. Silver's education didn't stop with Mammoth Mogul. Another important teacher of his was Edmund, a distant relative of Knuckles from the future. Edmund taught Silver about chaos energy and trained him to be cunning in battle. He didn't approve of Silver's relationship with Mammoth Mogul, calling him a sad sack of lies. Savage. But fairly accurate. Number 2. His top quills weren't based on the marijuana leaf. Some fans have theorized that Silver's quills were supposed to look like a marijuana leaf because they kind of do look like one. But the real inspiration was a lot more child friendly. Turns out they were based on the Japanese red maple leaf, and as a Canadian, there will always be a place in my heart for any maple leaf, Canadian or not. Awesome. Number 1. He was almost a mink. 
Silver changed quite a bit during development, and one iteration that ultimately didn't pan out was that of Venice the Mink. Venice was supposed to have orange fur and have futuristic headgear. I couldn't find an official picture, but the fan art makes it look pretty cool. Venice was eventually scrapped because developers didn't think the Mink would fit in with the other characters. Personally, I think he's good as a hedgehog, but I think it'd be really cool to throw a new kind of animal into the Sonic world. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Make sure to let us know any other Sonic related videos you'd like to see in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFergie with Top 10 Gaming. Later gamers.